to the investigators. All right. Let's get started. One journey will end in purgatory. But let us pray that they who travel the depths of hell will this time reach paradise. This is the next one. No, not this one. Close, but not quite. Well, sir. Let me see that. Are you sure that this is the one, sir? Yeah. Thanks. Good to see you again. Forgive me. For what I'm about to do.
Cover me! Need cover! Give me cover! I need cover! I need cover! Understood! Got it! Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Copy! Got it! What's wrong with you? Enemy in sight! Move! My bad! Give him hell! Good luck! Give him hell! I owe you one! Signal acquired. Collecting the package. This is practically an obsession with you. Soon, you'll have faith in this one, too. 
This soldier is the traveler we've been waiting for. The one who will bear the punishment for our having strayed from the paths of righteousness. You do like your poetic turns of phrase, don't you? But I'm not in the mood for them. I'll get straight to the point. I read the report. This one's infected. Yes. Which is what put the subject in suspended animation. But it won't be long before that ends. And then a threat to mankind becomes reality. That won't be the case. Why not? I told you. This soldier is a traveler. A traveler who is going to enter the gates of hell for us. What a ridiculous... Are you serious? After how long it's been since we've heard from the core? With the energy we have left, we don't even know if anyone we send would make it through. And you want to risk the fate of the section on this? An infected? That is why this one is the perfect candidate. This soldier cannot live in our world anymore. To put it another way, no one is more qualified to carry out a mission on the other side. Am I wrong? There's one other advantage that no one else has. Look at the left arm. It's just an arm. That arm was lost six months ago when it was severed. What? And yet, it regenerated. A result of the infection stimulating tissue growth. Nothing we haven't seen before. Except this time, we're talking about human tissue. Evidence of remarkable adaptation against the infection. With the dead running rampant on the other side, this one is more than capable of responding to the threats there. 1943, Philadelphia, teleportation. That experiment gave us our first glimpse of the future. Now this soldier can give us everything we've been after ever since. All we've done is continue to fail, including six months ago. We cannot take a chance on ideas with no basis in reality. There is a basis for this. Those who have descended to hell are able to see further than others, Gruen. Another one of your prophecies. Enough of that nonsense. My proposal will bring glory to the section and to you. You intend to use this one as a test subject in the future, don't you? But any result of those efforts would be trivial. If this mission succeeds, the rewards will be immeasurable. Think of the research and how it's stagnated. Better yet, this could lead directly to the power that unites the world. I'll get the section on board. After all, you acting on your own authority would be unforgivable. I'll give you instructions in due course. Until then, do not take matters into your own hands. Don't take matters into my own hands, huh? How blissfully unaware they are. The future is in my hands.
of hell. You're now standing in Dite, the world beyond the wormholes. Abandon all hope from here on, not to mention fear and doubt. <laughs> Your Beatrice is waiting up ahead. Better get going. As I mentioned in the briefing, first order of business is to head for base camp. You'll need to procure all weapons and equipment on site for this mission. Same goes for food. To enter the gates of hell, you had to shed everything. Monitoring your status over comms via the wormhole. Oh, guess I never introduced myself. Call me Good Luck. Not a bad name for the pilot of this ship, huh? Your life is low. That's to be expected, though. You just came out of suspended animation. But if your life runs out, there'll just be another one of them. Keep an eye on it. your step. Base camp is still a ways ahead. Base camp is beyond those ruins. Now go. Your journey's just getting started. Don't move! Hands up! Back away from him!
rubs off on me. I just had to shoot my brothers. I'm not gonna die here, that's for sure. I've got a long list of questions for you. What are those things? Where are we? What happened to my unit? Tell me! I'll answer your questions. Who are you? The man you're talking to. If you need a name, call me Good Luck. And you? What do I call you? Name's Reeve. <laughs> of course. What's so funny? Nothing, forget it. Now, as promised, let me answer your other questions. The monsters you encountered are called Wanderers. I'll spare you the details, but they were once human like you and I, until they were infected by some unknown life form, which turned them into what you saw. And you were in a world destroyed by Wanderers. Welcome to Detay. It exists in a dimension separate from your own. Unknown life form? A separate dimension? What kind of shit are you trying to pull? This is no joke. Whether you believe me or not, look around you. Clearly you realize the predicament you're in. Which brings me to this. I want to give you an opportunity. Work with us. Do that, and I'll make sure you have a ticket out of there. We're your only lifeline. Surely you're not gonna turn that down. When this is over, I'm gonna send you to hell myself. I like that answer. Now, as before, head through those ruins to base camp. How you go about that is up to you and the captain. Captain? You mean this clown? You have an objection? We're the ones who went there to complete a mission in the first place. I didn't think you would have a problem taking orders from someone else. All right, whatever. Okay, I've got an idea. Like good luck said, we need to head to this base camp. But we have to make sure we don't bring any of those things with us. Luckily, I have some C4 an engineer in my unit was carrying. More than enough to bring this place down. I'll go plant the C4. Meanwhile, you get on out of here and secure our escape route. All right, let's get this show on the road. Don't you run off without me, Captain. You'll be good to have around. But for now, you're not gonna leave without a weapon, are you? Craft something out of the materials around you. All sorts of things wash up in D-Day from other dimensions. Some of them will help you complete your mission, so go on, don't be shy. Finders keepers, right? shouldn't be that hard to destroy. Try out that weapon you wanted.
can see as well as hear. If you enter their field of vision or make a loud noise, that's when they attack. Stay low and move slowly. When you sense an enemy, information about them appears on the threat ring. You'll know their status and in which direction they're located. Take advantage of this to avoid any unwanted attention. Seaforce Planet. Making my way out now.
All right. Revival went A-OK. -okay. I know you've just woken up, and you're probably wondering what the hell's going on, but we're short on time. I'll give you the gist of things while we wait for the wormhole digger to finish starting up. Okay. So, basically, I'm going to be sending you to another dimension. Yeah, I'm sure you have plenty of questions, but I haven't got time to answer them. Just listen to me. Take a look at this photo. 1968. South Vietnam. It was taken in a town in the north by a journalist accompanying American forces. He took it right before he was killed. Killed by the thing in this photo. And that thing used to be human. Don't believe me. In the section, we have a name for humans that have turned into these monsters. We call them Wanderers. They get infected by this life form we've yet to fully understand. And they end up like that. Wanderers are extremely ferocious. They attack anyone they see indiscriminately. But the worst part is, even when you destroy a wanderer, the life form that infected the person doesn't die. If we don't do something about them, before we know it, there will be enough of them to destroy the human race. Fortunately for us, back then they appeared in a part of Vietnam where American forces were fighting. That meant we were able to send in a team, in amongst our boys, to wipe them out fast. We got every last one of them. We made the operation look like one of the massacres that occurred throughout the country. Of course, there's a reason this section was able to detect their presence. We've known about this life form for decades now, and about the world it comes from. While it looks a lot like ours, it's populated by wanderers. It's like a vision of hell. We at Wardenclyffe section first observed a wormhole to this other world about 30 years ago. We've studied them ever since. The reason being, we can extract energy from wanderers. We call it Kuban energy. We're talking about a massive energy source. One that could very well shift the balance of power in the world. As you know, six months ago, an enormous wormhole appeared over Mother Base when ExoWeb attacked you. That event enabled us to obtain the coordinates of their world. So for the first time since our research began, we sent out a manned expedition team, the Charon Corps. But we lost all contact with the Corps a while back. Our assumption is they're all dead. You'll have two mission objectives. First, recover the research data the Charon Corps left behind and gather Kuban energy. Second, rescue any Corps survivors you come across. I'm aware that ideally we'd be sending a team that's fully equipped for this kind of mission. But there's no time for that. Not with the hounds of hell after us. Plus, with the energy we have at the moment, the wormhole will only be able to transport one person. You'd rather sit this one out? Sorry, but you don't get a choice. The reason being, you're already infected with that life form I was telling you about. And if you don't want to turn into one of those things, you better do what I tell you. The Kiron Corps' research data should include information on a way to prevent a person from turning into a wanderer. Looks like the digger's ready. When you arrive on the other side, start by heading for the base camp that the Corps used. I'll be issuing all instructions by radio. Guess I'll see you in hell. Good luck, Captain.
Looks like you lost them. That's base camp you can see from there. Make your way to its location. detected. Waking from emergency sleep mode. Rebooting. Operational support program, Virgil AT9, reboot complete. It has been 34 days, 9 hours, 12 minutes, and 2 seconds. Commencing debrief. Take a closer look. They aren't with the Karen Corps. I detect a device on you. Connect it to me. Line of communications with section authenticated. Personal data acquired. Welcome aboard Karen's boat, Captain. Why don't I begin by introducing myself? I am Standalone Operational Support Program, Virgil 89. It's nice to meet you. Monsters, now talking machine. No need to be surprised. She was originally the Caron Corps support AI. They were scheduled to rendezvous there. Internal database voice print match. It's been a long time, good luck. It sure has, Virgil. Sorry to spring this on you so soon, but I'd like to give you a new mission. You can find the details on the captain's department. Well, this was unexpected. The wormhole's closing as I speak. Probably have to play the thanks for this. Virgil, you take over at the captain's mission support. I'm counting on you. Good luck's gotta go dark. Hope we'll be alright. Do not worry. I will assume the role of the captain's mission support. We've downloaded mission information from the device you connected. Our support systems are already up and running. According to this information, the Karen Corps has already ceased its activities. The Captain's mission is to recover the Corps' data and gather Kuban energy. The mission also includes exploring Dite and rescuing any survivors. Is this correct? So, the two of you are talking to each other. What's the deal with that? There's some reason there are two of you? That reason is unknown. Originally, when I was participating in the Karen Corps' operations, he didn't exist. What I deduced from this is he is a personality created out of necessity amid the unforeseen situation that forced me to enter emergency sleep mode. And what might that unforeseen situation be? Unknown. When it occurred, all data I acquired while supporting the Corps was lost. What exactly do you know? Were AIs designed to offer special operations support? I imagine we'll be able to provide you and the captain with valuable information for your mission. Alright, so why don't you start being useful? I don't 
don't know the first thing about this place or the monsters here. Tell us. This world is located on the other end of a wormhole or a distortion in space time. For convenience, we call this world Dite. We've learned in the course of our investigation that Dite's environment is very similar to that of Earth. However, it is decisively different from Earth in factors such as the presence of wanderers and the dust. Dust? The dust is a mist-like substance made up of micro-sized particles of unknown composition. It covers the greater part of Dite. It is extremely toxic to humans, and without some form of countermeasure, a person cannot operate within it unimpeded. How do we get back to our world? There is a way, though this is not currently possible. Why not? To return home, we need to activate a device called the Digger, which is capable of generating large wormholes. However, we lack the data to do this. The Karen Corps intended to use the Digger to return home, so it's highly likely that the data you will recover will describe how to activate it. Looks like my only way out of here is to help you with this mission. Let's split up to look. Just need to find this core's data. If I may be so forward, the captain should probably be the one doing the searching. Mr. Reeve, sir. I detect in you localized hyperthermia, most likely caused by severe inflammation. You can read me like a book, huh? Well, I think we have a plan. Let's get started right away. It's going to be a long road, but remember, Captain, a journey of a thousand miles wasn't built in a day. I think the expression is either a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, or rope. Is that so? Sorry, Captain. Looks like the accident did a number on her bits and bites. Before you begin your mission in earnest, let's go over some basics. Open your iDroid. Unlike us, you humans need food and water to live. Be sure to eat or drink when you become hungry or thirsty. Speaking of which, let's find you something to eat. Open your iDroid's map screen. The map displays terrain you yourself have visited. As we've lost the data the core collected, you'll have to map unexplored terrain yourself. In areas where we can support you, the map will also show your current position. However, this does not apply outside of these areas. There, you'll have to study the lay of the land to figure out where you are. The situation report informs you of the current situation. At the moment, you need to secure food and water. Information is added to the report as the situation warrants, so be sure to check it on a regular basis. Now, let's get back to finding food and water. We've detected a place with usable resources. Begin by heading there. 
We've marked their predicted location on the map. Place a guide marker. You've placed a guide marker. Just like this, you can set your destination to wherever you like. Food and drink you obtain can be selected and used from the inventory screen. It probably goes without saying that by eating and drinking, you satiate your hunger and quench your thirst.
has more nutritional value when you cook it. You also risk getting sick if you eat food raw, so keep that in mind as well. Alright, you've secured food and drink for the time being. Return to base camp for now. Yes, it is. 